Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How are we doing, people? So, just got back over the weekend, was at the uh, Revolutionary Con, the, or the Ontario Comic Con Revolutionary, however you want to say it. And um, I was there for two days, so I took the weekend off. And I had a great time, met some cool people, got a book signed by uh, my favorite X-Men author, which is a great uh, Chris uh, Claremont. And overall, it was just a nice, relaxing um, weekend. Went looking for a few things, found a few things that was on my list, which is pretty important that you just should always have like your research done, like the video I did before, like have the books that you're looking for. And then that way you can, you know, get a vague idea of what grades you're looking at and see what the prices are beforehand. That way, when you just go there, you can eye a book and then be like, okay, that's a good price. Or that's fair market price, or uh, I don't know if I want to pay that price, unless it's a really high uh, grade. But, you know, that's, that's on you. So, uh, day one, I picked up, I couldn't find any of the Funko Pops that I was looking for. I was, like, really sad. And um, I thought it was a pretty good deal for Minico. I was looking this up, and they average about 30 to $35, and then you got shipping and taxes. So this guy, I've seen them there before, got a few cool uh, pops off him. Didn't really have anything that I was really looking for because now I'm just trying to get some, um, finish off my Avengers and um, X-Men pops. So I got, here we go, Beer Belly Superman. <laughs> I almost didn't get him because of that. But then I'm like, who are you judging? You looking yourself in the mirror? So, uh, super beer belly. And I almost got the Harley Quinn. Um, they had her there, but I have a Harley Quinn pin, um, Funko Pop. So, So there was no need for me to to get it. I was like, oh, I'm a Harley Quinn fan, but I'm not like a fanatic or like, you know, like get everything I can of Harley Quinn. So what I did end up getting because I'm a sp big Spider-Man fan um, is Hydro Man. So, you know, he's one of the secondary villains, you know, every now and then he'll make a an appearance like one of the Sinister Six. I believe he made an appearance as one of the Sinister Six. Where's he in the original? Craven, Electro, Mysterio, Doc Ock. God, who are the other two? Leave that in the comment below, people. Either way, Hydro Man. Uh, what I love about this, too, is that it came with a Funko protector, which I'll be taking off because I only picked up this pop for $10. And I'll put it on one of these other pops. It doesn't have a protector. And those pops are worth more than $10. Okay, so... Um, some of the people that I met, we, you know, of course, you, you know, you're at a comic con and you're going to be, you're going to be talking about comics and, you know, what got you into comics or what you're looking for. And I was talking with this one dealer and he was talking about how the value of, of, of books matters in the sense of. What kind of collector are you? Because I told him, I said, hey, I got my own little YouTube channel. It's really small. But thank you all. Thank all of you who are my subscribers. And for those watching the video, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. Um, the difference between, uh, which I don't have. I have the second book. I just don't have the first one. Um, the Wolverine miniseries of one through four. So he had the first one, you know, where Logan's like, come here, you know. There's a difference between that book where people want to buy and collect it and read it as opposed to there is a cat woman and it's done in black and white and the artwork's amazing i'm not gonna take anything away from that and she's kind of got her head tilted like this and there's like some pearl necklaces and it's black and white and i can't remember the um comic book artist offhand again leave that a comment below but great cover and you know the difference between this Wolverine at two hundred dollars or one hundred and fifty, and this book that he had graded at a nine eight. The other one was like um, 
was raw, and this one was a 9.8 out of 100. And, you know, anybody who's new to collecting comics would come in and be like, oh, this is just as, this is just as valuable as Wolverine number one. And if you're looking at the price, you're like, well, it ain't that far off. But the answer would be no, because, you know, this is Wolverine's first miniseries, and this is just some uh, cover art that's um, variant, a variant cover art. And I don't want to take anything away from, from the artists who do variant cover arts or, any, or imply anything about that. I'm just saying that the book may not hold its value long term. And I've collected a lot of variants that I love. And I've seen them just drop in prices. And like 95% of the time I didn't care. Because I just loved the cover. And a few times I was like, oh. So I had an opportunity of actually getting, which brings us up to this variant right here. Um, this variant for $5. They had the one that um, for 10 and and you didn't have the whole dynamite. I might as well take this off. And you didn't have the dynamite at the bottom. So it was just full artwork for 10, you know, and at the time I'm like, oh, I'm probably going to kick myself for not getting that. But I, I bought the book because I really liked the cover and, you know, Will that other book shoot up probably and be a $300 book that I'll be crying about a year later? Yeah. But for me, that extra $5 was spent on getting these other books, which won't even come close to this one. Now it's making me sad that I think about it. But so these are like part of my first day purchases. Excuse me. Uh, as you can see, we got Punchline. I do like the cover on this. So, you know, it's Punchline number one. Um, five bucks. Cover price is uh, $4.99. So, we don't have to pay anything extra. And Sins of Sinister. Um, I'm currently not reading any of the X-Men stuff right now. Um, I just, you know, with all the X-Men galas and, you know... Um, the fact that they can just do anything and be reborn again on Krakola is just Krakola is just um Krakola is <laughs> Krakola, I believe. Um I, I just find that boring and there's no consequences and it's just, you know, with all the all the mutants, you know, band together. I think this would have been great as from what like um Hickman was making it seem like at first it was just a mini series it was cool and it should have just stayed that way instead of just branching it out like now we got our own island now we're on government now we're on mars and now i'm like <sighs> oh sorry doing a video um so and and if you're enjoying the series that's cool for you sorry for the snoring joke um but for me, I'm not I'm not into that. So that's why I'm going back and um, really focused on right now collecting my X-Men run between 100 and 200. And I'm 20 books away, and I believe the most expensive one is either like 100 or 101, which is like the first appearance of Phoenix. And then everything else after that is like basically under 100 to 150, depending on my condition that I want to get. So... You know, again, love the art. And what is this? What is this? Art germ art? But uh, Sins of Sinister, cool. Oh, which brings us down to this. So, um, Grew the Wanderer, number 10? Yeah, number 10. My eyesight's going, people. Uh, picked this up for $7. I know it says 12 but here's the kicker. So, um, sometimes a dealer will lower the price, especially if you start looking it up on your phone just to see what it's worth, and then you can figure out what you want to pay. Um, on average, this book was like about anywhere between eight and ten dollars, and so with shipping and and taxes would put that up. Now, I'll let you look at the book real quick.
So he puts it at the very fine minus, but I agree with him. At least it's very fine. So who knows what that would come out to be. But um, I'm a big fan and always have been of Guru the Wanderer. Um, I enjoy the work and it's just a funny book to collect. So um, if you like fantasy and um, like the artwork, I even like the artwork. You know, it's, it's really simple, but... Um, it, it tells a fantastic story and I really do just just love Grew the Wanderer and, and they get they get political and commentary in certain situations, but overall the book's pretty funny, which is why I'm always collecting him and um preaching about Grew the Wanderer and why you should read it. Alright, so that was twenty two dollars. So Electra Paid five bucks. Um, I jumped in late on collecting this series, the Alex Ross Timelet, uh, Timeless Variant series. So I'm getting back into it. Um, I I like I want to use these books. So as I get a like a Funko Pop or um, another book comes in, I can use these books and Funko Pops to put in the background. So I don't. I'm not grabbing them all because like I passed on the leader just because I was like no I'm. Um, I don't really collect that much Hulk. I mean, I'll read some of his stories and, you know, here's a good example. Um, Planet Hulk, I just thought was really ridiculous. I, I, I love the premise of it. No, not Planet Hulk. World War Hulk. Planet Hulk, I love that series. I thought it was great. It, it, kind of, it humanized the Hulk. It showed you a different aspect of him. And, you know, World War Hulk was just ridiculous. And I'm not going to get into that rant because... Um, I'm already going to be cutting this video short. We got the skull. Green Goblin. So I paid five for each of these books. Ultron, which is nice. And uh, Venom. So I was like, okay, cool. Now I have all these. So um, I was trying to, you know, pick out the books that I really like. Like I said, I'm Really not in the Hulk that much. That's why I didn't get the leader. I don't really see myself ever showing him on my Instagram, which I should have right there. Right there, people. I should have my Instagram. It's like comic book gallery underscore gallery. Hold on. Da -da. So, um, comic book underscore, gal underscore gallery and... I post there like five days a week, usually Monday through Friday. So today this video will go up along with um, Mutant Monday. So don't miss out. Um, so I bought these books and I p ended up paying um, 20 for all these books. Um, I got to, I've, over the past three years, I've got to know this one vendor. And so at the time... I only had it. I had my last twenty at me on me for that moment, and I told the guy, he was like, "How much?" And he, he was like, "Twenty two, because this book was seven. And I was like, "Oh, all I got is a twenty on me. Let me go. Let me go to the ATM and pull out some more money, which I needed to do anyways, because you know not all the vendors accepted um, cards." And he was like, "You know what? No, it's cool." So that's what I spent. On my first day there. And you're like, really? That's it? That's why I'm watching this video? No. Hold your horses. If I grew. Hello. So, I have my goal. My little sheet. Which, like I told you before. No Funko Pops. X-Men books. This is what I'm looking for. And it's basically, um, actually, it's 101 to 141 is what in between I'm looking for these books. So, I'm going to wrap up this video by saying I hope you enjoyed it so far. This is part one. I'm going to be breaking these other two up into part two and three because I'm going to go over the prices of these other books and we're going to be talking about value and, you know, how to fill a run without breaking your wallet and to look for deals when you can spot them. Yeah. As you can see, you got a Silver Surfer book. 
of uh, second run, I believe. It's 90. So overall, you know, bought some books, bought some Funko Pops, met some people, had a good time, got uh, one of my books, which I'm going to show you at the very end, signed by Chris Claremont, and I'll explain to you why it's my favorite book of all time. And, and my favorite book in my collection. So, with that, people, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you later.